What's going on guys, Rockley AC here, bringing you guys a deck profile for FanZ. For those who don't know what FanZ is, it is essentially the aftermath of Panini's discontinued uh, Dragon Ball Z TCG. Um, it was released two years ago. Um, they had about seven physical hard copy sets, and they just released the digital set a few months ago. Um, that was developed by... Um, most of the um, developers and playtesters um, from Panini and um, <clears throat> um, large contributors to the game. Um, so it's still going on. Um, again, it's still the quality is still there in terms of like card choices and, and card effects and, and whatnot. Um, simply because, you know, again, a lot of the developers who worked on the game or large influences of the, for the game um, are still working on it. Um, they're not getting paid, they're not getting, um, any type of reward out of this, this is out of the love for the game, so much respect to them, and the hard work that they put on, um, that a lot of people tend to kind of forget, or, um, not notice, uh, consistently. But yeah, uh, the deck that I am presenting today is, um, Red Ascension Cell, and the reason why I chose this deck is, well, it's a fun deck, but also competitive. And I think it's um, really good against the meta right now, which is um, pretty much Gohan and Brawly <coughs> and uh, some physical beatdown decks. But um, yeah, I, I chose Cell because Cell 1 and 2 could um, shuffle in allies. I think it's really good against the Gohan matchup um, or any type of deck with, with uh, allies. And um, he does physical beats, so you could keep up with Brawly and uh, his later... His later um, levels are uh, very powerful, you know, being able to mill five with two allies out is super strong and being able to get any saw card in your um, hand when entering combat for level four is um, amazing. And the ability to either MPPV or beat down two win conditions, um, it's it's a solid deck that I think. And um, it's done well um, in both uh, testing and tournament. And, um, you know, maybe just some tweaks here or there um, that people will just figure out, you know, on their own or cater to their meta. But yeah, let's get get started. Um, again, I ran the Red Ascension Mastery. Um, the Red Enraged Mastery from set one is banned at the moment. Um, but yeah, basically whenever you use a critical damage effect, you gain two stages. At the end of combat, you may raise your anger one. Um, that's very powerful in this MPPV deck where you want to try to level... Uh, sometimes you want to stick to your level depending, um, but you're most likely want to level up uh, to the higher levels, especially turn, um, especially on uh, level three. Um, and then also as a power, banish top card of your life deck to raise your anger one. And if you banish the style card, your opponent skips his or next action this combat. This pushes for a lot of like anger gain. If you feel like um, you know the top card of your deck is styled. You do that and then chain into like another anger attack or something like that to level up. Um, it's very helpful. Helps in those like critical situations where maybe you're stage locked and you need to gain those stages back. Um, but yeah, good mastery. I think that's um, solid overall. Um, again, Cell. I'm using the uh, mill version of Cell pretty much. Um, ally version. So level 1 is great. Uh, enter combat, search your life deck for an ally with Cell Jr. in the title, play it. Power to show the top card of your opponent's life deck, shuffle an ally and play to raise or lower player's anger. Um, I could sit on this for a little bit, depending on the matchup. Um, again, against Gohan, you could just shuffle those allies back. Um, or against any other ally deck, um, you gain those anger too. So you could shuffle their ally while also gaining two anger in the process, which is awesome. Uh, cell level two, similar. Um, you know, when in a combat, I could search my banner zone now instead of just the discard pile or life deck. Power, you may set your MP to zero. Uh, destroy the top three cards of your opponent's life deck. Shuffle an ally and play to his opponent's life deck. It's another shuffle effect. Um, level three is is awesome. One of my favorite levels. Um, when you're in combat, you can search your uh, all zones for a Saiyan ally and play it. So not only sell junior allies, but Saiyans. Uh, if you control two or more allies, destroy the top five cards of your opponent's life deck. So they're just going to mill automatically. Um, and you do have you know a consistent way to search for allies, I guess, in here. Um... If you control two more allies, yep. And then it's a, also a, da um, a physical attack for ET plus six, uh, which is very powerful. He's F on his high bracket, um, but still very powerful below it. So um, 
shouldn't be good in that case, and his level 4 entering combat. Um, switch your life deck for a style card and place it in your hand. You may lower your MP1 level to, low, um, to lower your opponent's MP1 level. So um, if I'm really caught in a bind, um, you know, you could use that effect against other um, uh, level, level decks. <laughs> Alright, onto the deck. Um, I play 1 Earth Ball 7. Um, basically, to end combat. Um, combat enders are great in this meta, especially when there are decks that have like large um, action, like a good amount of actions, like Goku, Gohan, Brawly. Um, a lot of the um, big meta decks out there could just generate so many actions. You want to get out of it if you have a bad hand. If I have like a handful of allies or a handful of like, non combats I can't really use, um, any combat is great. It's also great to end combat in like a anger kind of. Um, uh, combo, so you know you could use a mastery, a skip, and then you could end combat from there if you feel like it, something like that. So to gain the next anger, um, yeah, ball seven, earth ball seven, yeah, that's no, no stranger. Um, allies, uh, one of each of these cell juniors. Um, I didn't like the other cell juniors, so this is one that pretty much just you know there for extra mill. Uh, when this card is leaving play, you may banish it to destroy a top card of your opponent's life deck. If I really feel like doing it, um, you know, I can mill it. Uh, level 2 makes it bring it bring back from the banner zone. Level 3 makes it bring it back from the banner zone. Um, and then Cell Jr. Um, trapped. Um, probably the best one. Um, while you control one ally, your opponent's um, destroy the top card of their life deck. And um, life card damage is decreased by 1. So yeah, very good card. Um... Shuffle those in, use it for um, the level 3 threshold effect. Um, and then the other three allies that I run are Captain Ginyu, Cooler, and Turles, all serve their own purpose. Captain Ginyu, I just like knowing what's in my opponent's hand. That's such valuable information, being able to block the way you want to, being able to attack confidently, making sure that your combos can go off, etc. So Captain Ginyu is there kind of for that annoyance. Um, cooler is also great for the meta because people run unleashed. Players cannot use effects that would advance an MP one or more levels. Um, whether that's uh, you know, whether that's unleashed or KO Ken for Goku, um, anything that would make them advance, blue dominance stuff like that. I don't run any of those cards because I want MPPV, so it doesn't really affect me, and um, that just helps my overall, um, I guess, tech protection. Um, doesn't really help all the time, but it, it can stall an opponent from leveling up um, a couple turns, which is great. And then Turles, of course, um, if you're MP is Saiyan, your style attacks deal plus X stages of damage. X equals the number of Saiyans in play. The Turles ally is so good right now in the meta uh, because everyone's running Saiyans. Um, Saiyans are ruling the meta um, with the past two Kai events. Gohan, Brawly, Goku, um, all that stuff. Cell's still really good. So Turles will just add the benefit to... Um, physical beatdown damage, which again is, is my backup um, win condition. Uh, setups. I run three red destinies. A lot of people forget about this card, but I like it a lot just because it automatically raises your anger too. And in an ascension build, you know, you're going to be getting four anger throughout the combat with this. You know, just with the mastery, triggering the mastery, and then triggering the mastery at the end of combat. Red destiny for two. Um, it's very easy to level up. Um, with this card, your mastery, and maybe even two or three more anger cards in your hand. Uh, so I think it's essential for that, and also mitigate some damage. Neg 2, Neg 2 is always nice. Um, two visiting the pasts, uh, being able to get, you know, blocks, uh, blinding energy move, stuff like that to kind of, uh, protect you is very good. It's another option to kind of, um, use a little bit more flexibility in your deck. Uh, one Visage um, protects me from aggro decks that just want to rush and rush, and they don't have like any kind of board wipe. Uh, it's good against like the red matchup because red barely has setup removal. Um, so if you're going to go as like a ruthless deck, like ruthless Goku or something, or of the likes, um, it's good. I like it. Um, events uh, two spheres. Um, Again, people are still playing Unleash, people are still playing Computation Staredowns, still so many good events out there. I think uh, Spheres are still necessary in um, competitive scene. 
Um, I teched in one red antidote, mainly because there's a lot of attached cards, uh, mostly because of Saiyan. Um, Empowered is largely played in my scene. Um, a lot of my friends play it, and again, the meta, having those attached cards like, um, you know, Rescue, um, and uh, the Saiyan block or whatever like that, like things like that. Um, you know, you can banish it just to raise your anger multiple levels, and it has three endurance, uh, which is nice, so I like this as a kind of a tech. I only run one because of, like, uh, spheres and stuff. Um, and then one red observation, I think this is absolutely necessary for any type of red deck, because red has, uh, trouble with board control in a way, um, so this allows you to kind of make up for that. Your MP pays five stages to destroy all allies, setups, and drills. Um, this is great against any type of meta. Um, whether that's Gohan allies, uh, whether if it's large setups, blue, black, um, kind of, but um, drills also against like orange. Orange is a heavy meta right now too, so um, really helps with that. And um, uh, raises my uh, anger one, so helps with the MPPV um, plan, and it's just a good card uh, that you could kind of use and um, you know pick up after with like VTP or something like that if, if it gets discarded. And then time, still very good card um, and needed. All right, let's go with the blocks. Uh, energy blocks, I ran three red bl uh, brace. Uh, this is from the set eight digital release. Um, probably one of the better red blocks, has two endurance, uh, stops energy attack, raise your anger level one, lower your opponent's anger one, and it rejuvenates after use. So multiple, multiple effects on this, very powerful. And also, if this card gets banished from your life deck, you gain two stages and your opponent loses two stages. doesn't happen often, but um, if your opponent has like banish effects, mostly like black, then you can trigger. But mostly you're going to be using this for like that extra block, that extra rejuve, so you can have some energy blocks back into your deck. Um, not bad at all because you're trying to MPPV and survive. Um, and then I also ran three, red right, energy def defensive stance. Um, around three and three, even this one or, or six energy blocks depends on your meta, but I think it's like nice for the endurance, so it raises your anger one, nice and simple. Um, physical blocks, I ran three red blocking hand. Um, again, this is great against like Brawly. Um, most Brawly players like on level one don't expect you to block like their their power attack, um, but if you're an aggressive anger build like this in a way. Uh, you want to use this as early as possible, gain that two anger, and then mastery, and then maybe another two anger or whatnot. But yeah, it's a um, very good card. It helps you gain stages for those extra energy attacks if you need to. Um, but yeah, solid card. Everybody knows that. Um, three red reverse. Um, another digital set eight release. Um, your opponent's MP loses three stages when it, when you block a physical attack, and um, second effect doesn't really matter in this sense but when attached your style energy attack still plus two life cards um that's great if you're able to attach it but you're mostly going to be using you know the, the the stop effect um has two endurance also which is light which is what i like and then um yeah i like it solid solid block and then two red repels um simple razor anger one your opponent loses one um I like to over count the physical block in my builds just because my meta is heavily physical based. There's a lot of brawlies, there's a lot of um, heavy physical decks out there, Saiyans that people run, um, Gohan, Goku, and all that stuff. So I like to over, um, over uh, compensate my physical blocks. Um, and then again, my um, cells heavily physical, so that's why I run more physical blocks than um, energy blocks, sort of say. Um, energy attacks. Um, three red static shot. Probably one of the best cards in the game. Um, it's just so powerful. You know, five life card, swing, um, crit. Um, from ready to combat, your opponent cannot use endurance on my style attacks. And hit, raise your anger too. It does so much for you, and it could really put you out of the, over the top. Um, combine this with like cells level three. You mill, they mill five. That's five damage. They don't block this attack. That's five damage. Um, you know you're already taking apart a good amount of their deck already with this with just that level three in this card. Um, very powerful. I think every red deck should run at least two to three. 
Um, three red energy blast. I think you got to run three in this kind of meta because it's um, it's an orange heavy meta. So banishing a drill is super important, and it's ally meta too. Um, sort of say with Goku and Gohan. Um, again, not only limited to them, Cell and other decks to run tech allies. Um, but yeah, very powerful. It's one of your few ways to kind of um, get bored out of the way. And also raises your anger. So again, it's just very powerful um, tech. Two overpowering attack. Run five allies. Didn't think I really needed three because of Cell's level levels that search for allies on level one, two, three. So you're pretty much going to consistently have at least one ally out. You might draw into one, and then with the overpowering attack, you could search for one, but I didn't think three was necessary. Um, but still strong. Five life card swing. Um, and then two blinding energy moves. Simply for the fact that, again, just like Ball 7, get out of bad combats, combine with anger gain, and... Um, the good old um, tricking them to use VTP to blinding out of combat. Um, dirty, dirty. Physicals. Um, I ran three red shoulder grabs. You need crits in this game. Um, I do have a lot of friends who play Dragon Ball decks also. Those are annoying. So I need ways to crit more than just damage. More, more than just to rely on damage. So shoulder grab, very powerful. Razor Anger, solid damage. Um... Next, the shoulder grab combo with double strike. Um, old news, but still very good for anger raise and kind of just like annoying poke damage. Um, I like it. Three red sword stab, powerful attack, AT plus uh, four, raise your anger one, and then three endurance. Um, mostly because of the endurance, um, but also just overall raises your anger, helps with the goal of the deck. And damage is very powerful. Um, you know, combine that with cells higher levels. Um, you know, on his E, uh, F brackets, those are uh, deadly and not to mess with. And then, of, of course, Turles Ally, so you're going to be doing a lot of damage with these physical attacks. Three red mule kicks. Um, I like it because two endurance, raise your anger, and then it banishes an attached card in play. So, again, if I'm wall breakered, which I'm not really worried about because I have multiple ways of getting out with shoulder grab. Um, mule kick, uh, static shot, all that stuff, damage, um, that's fine. Um, but banishing Saiyan cards, again, there's uh, an abundance of Saiyan decks out there. Um, being able to banish their attached cards is um, just as important so that they don't rejuvenate those menaces or they don't um, banish um, with strength test. Um, I think it's, it's a good card that helps your overall goal and tech. Three dead blows. Yes, I love dead blow. I run at least two dead blows in every deck. I think it's just so good because you don't know what your opponent is going to be running nowadays because there's such a variety of decks. Um, you're going to go in a tournament playing multiple different kinds of decks, and there could be some combo decks, people that need stuff out of their discard pile. Uh, Namekian's still there, so you want to get rid of like their blocks, their um, combos, cards. Um, Menace is one of the few ways that I could get rid of like Menace because it's setups. Um, it's just a very, very powerful card. Um, it raises your anger, it lowers your opponent's anger, which I don't have a lot of anger hate. You know, you're most likely going to be trying to anger out um, faster than them, uh, which happens for the most part. Um, you know, there's very few other um, decks out there that are, that are much faster in the Ascension build, but um, Dead Blow helps you with all those reasons and more. Um, two Red Furious Lunge. Um, I like this card a lot too, just for that hit effect. Um, but this attack can all, uh, cannot be stopped by a non-styled card. Um, it's very limited, uh, sort of that sounds like, I think, playful punch and stuff. But, uh, 18 plus 4 stages, another heavy attack, just like, um, Sword Stab. Has two Endurance, and the hit effect is Hit Razor Ring of two levels. Very powerful, um... Really good when you use it on level 3 because uh, your opponent might want to block that ET plus 6 damage if they don't want to get stage locked depending on their you know deck. But Red Furious Lunge, I like it a lot just because um, of that added pressure of anger gain. And then also Red Fu uh, Red Diving Knee, Driving Knee, sorry. 
uh, from set 7, raise your anger, 80 plus 2 stages, hit, use a critical damage effect, um, and then if your MP gains stages, combat, raise your anger at 1. This is good to use if you have, if you lost some stages, um, you know, play this card, raise your anger at 1, do some damage, use a crit effect, uh, again, a critical damage effect is really n necessary in this meta, just to get rid of some board, um, Dragon Balls and Allies, and uh, Ascension Mastery, once you use a critical damage effect, you raise your um, raise your stages to, and then, you know, the effect if your MP has gained stages combat, raise your anger one. So, essentially a two anger swing, um, if it hits, um, given the conditions. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much my deck. Um, I like it a lot because again, for those reasons, uh, meta decks out there, uh, Brawly, Gohan, um, ally decks, some what Dragon Ball decks. Um, I think is great, and again, uh, the ability to MPPV um, as an option is also very critical um, in this deck. But you could go either way. Again, the beatdown route if you want to run with like Turles Ally, uh, camp like level three so that you keep milling um, for damage, or if you really think like you could push that victory against um, decks that don't have a lot of uh, anti anger. Um, yeah. But yeah, rate, comment, subscribe. Hope you guys like this. Um, again, if you guys are new to my channel, um, I'd appreciate the sub uh, button right down below. I will do the same. And um, comment on what you liked. Maybe cards that you think um, could fit in this deck a little bit better. Um, and uh, stay tuned for more deck profiles of whatnot. I'll be uploading probably a Naruto CCG deck profile soon. Because I know a lot of you guys are waiting for that uh, with my last announcements. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for your support. And I'll uh, see you later, YouTube. Peace out.